what's up y'all i am just having fun jamming on this junior kimbro style this is a really fun way to play and today i'm going to show you how to kind of do it how to kind of get a better sound like junior kimbro uh, we're going to watch him play some live video and then i'm going to kind of you know stop it here and there and show you a little bit what he's doing uh before we get i want to tell you that i'm tuned down almost a half step not quite all the way down to e flat standard but kind of like a little bit higher than that and that's to match his recording let's just jump in and watch it and then i'm going to show you all these parts <laughs> here we go Let me pause it here real quick. So the main idea, guys, it's to check out his right hand, you know, right there. What he's doing, he's just keeping that right thumb continuously going. That's what we call monotonic bass. And then on top of that, he really likes to play a lot of these minor pentatonic patterns. Or actually, they're at blues scale patterns. With that thumb going. getting that right thumb going that's really hard to do and you just got to get a lot of volume just doing monotonic bass patterns you know try to see if you can just keep that thumb going when you're talking or like maybe on the phone with people just try to do it as much as you can watching tv is another great way to do it just keep that thumb going so that way we can train it to get on autopilot let's watch more of this video check out that thumb he's That was a cool bass riff though. Let me stop it here. This is one of his riffs that he really likes to do, going, um. Let's watch back real quick one more time. Uh. Yeah, so we have this kind of. First time then. Kind of going up to that blues note. Now you can, he's using these three fingers, but I like to kind of maybe slide that finger. Keep that thumb moving like that. And put it together. It's so fun to play it once you get in the groove. Now he's moving up to kind of box two. Same riff up in box two, let me show you that. So if you're in box one here, try to find that octave. So this is the same little shape from eight to 10. And then you have the same shape from five to seven on the middle two strings. So that riff that we just did. <laughs> or kind of a variation that's similar to that. So he's gonna do that same kind of variation up here. Same, same box. <laughs> uh, Watch him do it. So now it's going way up there. Yeah. 
back to kind of op- or first position, kind of box one, fifth position. There. Let me check out that bass riff. So, um, he's going. So he's doing kind of like a bass riff over E, A, and then kind of D. And he's kind of going back and forth like that. So the bass riff, it's just kind of going, it's chucking along doing kind of the same thing. Uh, he's playing this. Okay, <laughs> let's keep watching. that box one pentatonic he's cool little variation uh, let's check out that variation uh, so we're just getting that fifth fret to seventh flat seven flat seven interval with the A in there to the octave you can also kind of do that here, I guess. But I know that he likes to play. He likes to play in this kind of fifth position. So that's where he's doing that. Um. tuning just a little bit there. There's that highest note that he comes up here. He's kind of hitting this with that, you know, up here at 15 to 12. And then he comes back to this box two. And then back to kind of box one. Back to box one there. Check out that thumb, it never stops. <laughs> now, hey guys, they, they basically, they, they jam on this. This whole video is over two hours long and he's jamming on this for a long time. So, and then later he brings in a bunch of special guests. Obviously we're not gonna go through this entire two hour video. I just wanted to show you mainly the basic stuff that he likes to do. And again, you know, remember it's that monotonic bass, okay? And then he plays these little squares in, in the pentatonic boxes. That little square from five to seven. And then he does that same little square up an octave. Okay, and the cool thing on that little square is that little blues note on the top part. On the top part of the little square, there's that little blues note that you can slide to. Okay. Um, Listen to you a little bit more, see if he does any other cool riffs, and then we'll wrap it up. Top 
part of that box one. Do a lot of the same stuff again, yeah. That's the high spot. Kind of goes back raising sometimes. to kind of the original phrasing from the beginning. Sometimes he'll do, sometimes he does little bends, but most of the time he, he likes the slide better, or little hammer-on pull-offs. Um, so <laughs> let's wrap it up here. This video has been so fun to watch. Hopefully you guys had fun watching it too. Uh, and hopefully you've learned a little bit about how to play his style. Just to wrap it up one more last time, it's basically, you know, that monotonic thumb is like the main thing. That's the main thing in his style. And then adding like such a cool groove with the minor pentatonic and blues scale, that'll get you started going on this style. It's really hard to sound like Junior Kimbrough. Really almost nobody sounds like him or exactly like him, but you can get close kind of doing the things that I'm showing you. Um, try to get your guitar sometimes he has it on you know a clean setting like he has pretty much today sometimes he'll you know crank up uh the input on that and it, it kind of is a little bit fuzzy or a little bit distorted um so he has a lot of different tones he plays it on a lot of different styles but this is his main thing you know that monotonic bass with uh like riffs and stuff on the top um so I had so much fun showing you guys this and I uh, hope that you got something out of it. So um, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.